finally got on the right bus. The lady told us we were in the right area, so we're just trusting it. It cost us 32 baht for this trip from our hostel to Chinatown. On the Sky Train, that would cost us about 450 baht. So we've saved a lot, and the girls are trying to convince us that the saving goes towards ice cream. So we'll see how well our day goes, hey? Okay guys, we finally made it here. We're pretty exhausted after the bus ride, but we're gonna go and explore and see what we can find. From the bus, we seen this place that sold, sold pork dumplings. So we missed back from the bus stop to try to find it again. And we've brought three of them and we're super excited. Katie's been waiting for ages for pork dumplings. I think she's been looking since Vietnam. So we're just trying to find this shady spot because it's quite hot it's out today. Hang Sua Hong Chinese restaurant. Hang Sua Hong Chinese restaurant, Katie just said, is where we got them from. So we're trying to find a shady spot and we're going to try them. really good. It's full of like homemade barbecue sauce. It's amazing. Speaking of chowing down, I'm really. I'm meant to be sharing. what this place is but there's a massive line running down the street so it's obviously good.
What, what did we get? Um, samosas. Samosas. Yeah. Samosas. And now we are just sitting out up on the step on the tennis stopping centre. Okay. So my day been so good today. So good. You loved it. What was your favourite part? Um, having so here. So it's about 4.30 in the afternoon and we're heading off to see a night bazaar that Luke apparently has found on online somewhere. It's our final market of Bangkok. So we're pretty excited. We've got mum along for the ride with us tonight. So it's her first market of Bangkok. And we're gonna catch the night train, not the night train, the sky train to get there. But we wanted to make a quick note of the fact that in Bangkok markets are so popular that they're nearly at every single street. There's so many of them. At the moment we're walking through the street that we usually would get dinner at. So yeah. we're going to give you guys a little bit of a preview. It might be a tad bit early but I'm hopefully we can. Yeah, it'll because give you an idea of what you can expect at each, each market on every kind of street gives you a basic idea but it's a good place to start if you're new to these kind of things or if Super you cheap it, yeah too. or if you're really too lazy to go out it's cheaper to come out to these markets and get your dinner and take it home than it is to get takeout or grab eats or anything like that so we're going to give you guys a bit of a preview Our final Bangkok market is the Asia Teak Night Bazaar. It's connected to the shopping centre and the easiest way to get there is to take the Sky Train and then they offer a free ferry from the Sky Train to the Asia Teak. So that's the way we're going to do it. Come along with us. that we're about to take is actually a free shuttle boat that takes you from the BTS station to the Asia T. But it does a little bit of a sneaky tour, or a little bit of a loop around the river before it goes there. So it is a bit of a sneaky way to get a free tour on the river if you're in Bangkok.
expensive. This plate is 200 baht, which is roughly about 10 AUD. And the meat is cold. And the noodles don't have very much flavor compared to the fried noodles in Vietnam, which were amazing. These are not really full of flavor. So if you are not on a budget, then this is a good place for you to come because there's heaps of restaurants around here in a really good environment but if you're in a, on a budget it's probably not the best place I wouldn't recommend for you to come. Okay guys, that's it for us here today. I hope you love exploring Bangkok as much as we did. Don't forget to hit that like button, to subscribe, hit the button below the video and we'll catch you next time.